Welcome to this week's edition of Evergreen Speedway Weekly News. We are at the CFM Speed Shop here in Stanwood, Washington, with uh, three of the outlaw figure eight drivers. We have uh, Seth Funden here, the defending champion of the class, uh, Nicole Pollard, who will be making her debut here uh, this weekend, and we have uh, Jessica Gray as well. So three of the outlaw figure eight drivers. Uh, family run operation here with uh, Seth and uh, Jessica being cousins, and then Seth and Nicole being, uh, I guess you say, better half with each other uh, is the best way of saying it there. Um, let's get to know you guys a little better and talk about how you guys got started in racing and uh, you know your journeys at Evergreen Speedway because it's uh, for each one of you it's been a little bit different but kind of similar for a lot of you as well. So uh, let's talk about you know why you started and uh, why you uh, have gone the route you have. You know I pretty much grew up at that racetrack you know being the little kid in front of the grandstands just watching my dad uh, go around the racetrack and you know at, at one point I was like no I'm never gonna do it and then I ended up getting in the seat of a car it was just a given so um, for me my dad came home from work one day he had a, a friend that he worked with that had a Hornet car and uh, he came home asked me if I wanted to go racing that Saturday and I agreed to go and never looked back and I've been there ever since I grew up watching my Uncle Jerry race, and then Seth started racing, and then after a couple of years of Seth racing, I'm like, okay, it's my turn. I want you guys to build me a car, and they did. Built me a little car. Um, let's talk about Nicole and Jessica. You guys race in what we would call a male-dominated sport in auto racing, and even more of a male-dominated area, figure eight racing. So let's talk about how it is for you as a female to race in this dominated sport. Um, I've never looked at myself in any other way than being a competitor with all the guys. Um, I love it just as much as, you know, any other guy out there does. And yeah. I've really never thought twice about being a girl. Um, I love the guys I race with. They're always there for me. Even if we have altercations on the, on the track, you know, they're always there for me in the end. Um, I've always said that I want to not be known as a girl out on the track. I want to be known as the racer to beat. Uh, it is a family operation here with uh, you guys being cousins. You guys have better in halves here. Seth, for you, what's it like racing with your cousin all the time and then coming up this weekend get a race uh, against your girlfriend? Well, I think it'll be the first time we've ever raced together. <laughs> That'll, that should be interesting. Um, no, it's been fun. You know, I've uh, throughout the years raced with Jessica from Stingers to um, – you know, now the big cars, and uh, it, it's going to be exciting to get her, Nicole, here into a, into an outlaw car. You know, it was kind of our dream at the end of last year. She went and crashed her Stinger car, still won the race, but she crashed her Stinger car on the last race, and we said, uh, you know, maybe this year we'll put you into a big car. And, and for you guys as well, for Nicole racing against, uh, you know, this will be your first time racing against Seth this weekend coming up, and then Jessica, for you as well, uh, talk about racing against your cousin. Well, racing with Seth, um, it's always great. I mean, he's always been a better racer than I have. He always tries to give me pointers. There's been a few altercations on the track in the senior division that we've had to hash out, but in the end, he always has to see me at Christmas. Um, Seth, for you, you're coming off a championship um, season at Evergreen Speedway. What's it like for you coming off a championship um, this year started off uh, pretty well so far. So for you as a driver, going into your second season back-to-back, -back, do you feel like it, it's a tougher to repeat the championship, or do you feel like it's easier? Um, I don't I, It's easier, but, you know, I'm a little more comfortable. Every year I get more and more comfortable in these cars. Um, I mean, I'm still what I would consider a rookie. Some of these guys I race against, they've been doing it a lot longer than I have. So, um, you know, I, I would say that, you know, I – you know, for this season, I, I, I'm prepared and uh, ready to defend my title. Nicole, for you, uh, we talked about it a little earlier, but uh, you guys met at the racetrack, or kind of around the racetrack. Tell the story of how you and uh, Seth met. Um, I believe it was 2010 banquet, and Seth got a little tipsy and taking shots, and I had to help him take those shots <laughs> or else he would have missed his mouth. <laughs> um, and then it was another racer's birthday. Yeah, 
shortly after and we just started talking and got a tattoo on the back of my neck and it was a conversation starter, I guess. <laughs> It's amazing how a tattoo can turn into a relationship uh, pretty fast. Um, this is one of the biggest races of the year coming up, the 90 Minutes of Fear weekend. Um, for Seth, This is you've done a couple of these. Jessica, this will be your second one. Your first race was last year. And, and Nicole, this is your first one. So let's talk for each one of you what your feelings are heading into this weekend. Uh, you know, when it comes to these bigger races, uh, it's just all about starting them and being there at the end and finishing them. Um, you know, it, I'm not sure it's going to be like that for this one. Who knows with our car counts and the, and the time and stuff like that. But 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, you know, 300 laps, uh, you still got to be there at the end. Uh, it's figure eight racing. So, um, for me, I'm, I'm excited, uh, this being my first outlaw race. Uh, I mean, it's a whole new experience. I have a lot more horsepower, it being rear wheel drive, um, like, a lot longer than the Stinger car, so it's a completely new ball game for me. So we'll see how it goes. I'm excited. I'm so excited for this year. Um, last year it was my first race, 60 minutes, and wasn't really comfortable. I'm getting more and more comfortable in my car each and every time, and so I am really excited for this race. You know, as I've you know grown to know more and more Evergreen speed or speed racers uh, out there, there's a lot of uh, fun people, a lot of fun names, a lot of fun nicknames. So my question is, do any of you guys have nicknames, or do you have nicknames for each other as racers at Evergreen Speedway? Um, mine's mine was Hollywood. Uh, I don't not sure how I got it. A couple people just started Hollywood. calling me Hollywood. I'm sure they can tell you why. Um, Maybe the flashy car, I don't know. Always trying to be prepared, neat, and clean. Um, well, we'll see what these guys got to say. <laughs> He's definitely Hollywood. <laughs> um, I've just always been... Princess. A princess. <laughs> yeah. Nicole, the Princess Pollard. What's going on in the car? <laughs> I don't have a nickname. Um, oh, yeah. That's a slogan. But, um, yeah, Nicole's definitely a princess, name suits and everything. Seth got the nickname Hollywood. I'm not quite sure by whom, but Seth was sitting on top of his car, and I believe it was Nick Gunderson pushing him out, and somebody yells, what the hell, Seth? You think you're Hollywood or something? And the name stuck, and it totally fit. <laughs> It's great to, as the announcer to have the nicknames to call you when you come out the track. Um, you know, it's tough to come to the racetrack every weekend and be there every weekend, be competitive, and, and just be able to race. Um, you can't do it without your support system, whether that be family, friends, sponsors. So let's take a, a moment and talk to, about those people who make sure that you guys are out there every single weekend competing at the racetrack. Well, first, you know, we got to thank Jerry Fun and my dad, and uh, he's the one that, you know, pretty much funds and gets this whole show going for all of us. Um, and then uh, when it comes to, you know, tires and uh, just all the little stuff that we need, uh, we got to thank MGM Designs, Martin Granite and Marble, ProGrow, and AirPros Energy, and always Gunderson Speed Shop. You know, those guys, uh, if it wasn't for them, some of these figure eight cars wouldn't even be going around the track. So, um, For me, first and foremost, I have to thank Jerry Funden for everything he does, Seth Funden, Jessica, my riveting partner. Um, I also have to thank uh, Doug Wilkinson for loaning me his backup motor so that I can have this opportunity to get out there and go racing. Um, and Gunderson Speed Shop, of course, for all their help. Of course, I have to thank Uncle Jerry, first and foremost, um, Seth, and then Nicole, obviously. Um, after that, probably Gunderson Speed Shop because they're always there for me no matter what time of day, night, whatever. Ryan will always answer his phone for me. Um, and I'm looking for sponsors. Racers are always looking for sponsors. You want to get a hold of somebody there. Uh, did you forget somebody? Um, we just need to think, thank the crew. The crew. Uh, Brandon Lozo, Josh Young, uh, Dave Young, Jerry Funden, of course. And um, yeah. 
Got to make sure you thank everybody in there. But uh, yeah, Racer is always looking for sponsors. So if you want to help out a racer, I'm sure that any three of these would be uh, loving to have a new sponsor on the side of the car. I know that uh, they're both going to have uh, new looking cars out there coming up this weekend. Uh, hopefully if everything gets going right and gets done on uh, Nicole's car and everything gets going on Jessica's car. So look forward to see all that stuff out there. You can go talk to these guys down the pits. Uh, for this edition of Evergreen Speedway News, we want to say thank you to the CFM Speed Shop for allowing us to come out here and uh, beautiful Stanwood, Washington, beautiful out here in the countryside and uh, we want to see all of you here this weekend 90 minutes of fear yes 90 minutes of fear one of the biggest weekends all three of the figure eight classes in action it's going to be a fun one and uh, i'm sure all these guys would love you to stop by and say hi to them in the pits as well so for this edition of evergreen speed weekly news this is jeremy anders signing off 90 Minutes of Fear. Saturday, April 29th. It's Evergreen Speedway's 90 Minutes of Fear. Figure 8 Auto Racing at its best. Only once a year do all three Figure 8 classes come together for a night like this. See the one-armed bandit, Quentin Borson, battle it up with champions like John the Cowboy Carlson. See champion Seth Fundus go up in paint with Chris Curtis. Or maybe Jessica Gray can knock the boys off the podium. The most dangerous intersection on the planet. Racing action, 6 p.m. Rain or shine. Details, evergreenspeedway.com. Thank you